From the best racing helmet in the world to one of the most popular budget helmets available, AGV have an incredibly broad range. So we've collected our top five helmets for this reason and road tested them to give you an idea of what AGV have on offer for this year. AGV have been one of the main helmet players from the start since it started out as a humble scooter saddle and helmet manufacturer in 1947. And for any of you wondering, AGV is actually an acronym for Amizano Gino Valenza, the founder's name and Valenza, the company's hometown. They built one of the first European full-face helmets and are well known for their effective advertising to become as popular as they are today. So it always helps when you've covered the heads of world-class racers like Giacomo Agostini, Barry Sheen, Valentino Rossi, and more. So for today, we'll be going through the AGV K1, the AGV X3000, the AGV K6, AGV Sport Modular, and last but not least, the AGV Pista GPRR. If you're curious to learn more about these individual AGV helmets, then make sure to subscribe and check out the rest of our YouTube channel for more in-depth reviews and road tests of AGV's other helmets. If you're not familiar with our road test setup, I'll just give you a quick rundown. We conducted our tests at 130 km per hour or 80 miles per hour on long stretches of highway. On the white monitor on the left, you can find the helmet's internal temperature in degrees Celsius from a thermometer placed in the top of the helmet. The display on the middle shows the helmet's noise level based on a thermometer near our rider's ear, and on the right is a phone showing the day's airspeed from an anemometer mounted on the bike. And lastly, the bike's speed and exterior temperature are on the dash. First up, we've got the AGV K1, one of the most popular helmets currently available. The main reason for this is that you get the classic AGV racing look for about 180 euros or 195 US dollars. The helmet itself is made of high-resistance thermoplastic and comes into outer shell sizes, which is still a pretty good deal in this price category, especially since it weighs about 1,400 grams or 3 pounds in an ounce, which is good for a full-face thermoplastic helmet. For ventilation, there are five vents in the front, three in the brow, and two in the chin, and there are two exhausts. The visor itself is pinlock repaired, but you don't get the insert in the box, which is one of the places where AGV were able to cut down on the price. The liner is AGV's dry comfort liner, which is prepared for a comp system and also will fit glasses. When we tested the K1, it was a rainy day and the day's airspeed was 115 to 130 km per hour. The day's exterior temperature was around 8 degrees Celsius or 46 Fahrenheit, while the helmet was 2 degrees hotter at 10 degrees Celsius or 50 Fahrenheit. And the noise level in the helmet was 105 decibels. So overall, these are very good results considering the helmet's low price point. In general, the K1 got a decent score, which is why it is on our list for today. For material, the helmet earned only two stars since it's offered in only two shell sizes and is thermoplastic. For weight, the helmet earned four stars since it was at 1400 grams. The visor earned three stars, while for noise, the K1 dropped to two stars. And it's the same picture with ventilation and comfort with two and three stars respectively. This brings the total to three stars at 11 euros a star, which is one of the best results for budget friendliness and value for money. Next up, we've got the AGV X3000. This is AGV's main retro helmet based off of the original design that was worn by the likes of Agostini. The fiberglass helmet with a recommended retail price of about 380 euros or 410 US dollars comes in three outer shell sizes. The X3000 also comes in at a light weight of about 1380 grams, which is also good for a full face helmet. For ventilation, there is only one stoppered vent in the non pinlock prepared visor, but the liner is made of soft suede leather and it is removable and washable. When we tested the X3000 out, it was a sunny day with the airspeed ranging from 105 to 115 km per hour. The day's temperature reading was at 25 degrees Celsius or 77 Fahrenheit and thanks to the strong ventilation from the brow, it was the same inside the helmet as well. For noise, the X3000 was about an average with 102 decibels in the helmet. As far as ranking goes, the AGV helmet did very well, considering it's meant to be retro. For material and weight, the X3000 earned 4 and 5 stars respectively, thanks to its strong and lightweight fiberglass construction. However, AGV did go a little too retro on the visor since it only earns 2 stars, since it isn't coming with any pinlock features. The helmet still made a comeback for ventilation and noise, earning 4 and 3 stars respectively, and lastly, thanks to the great suede liner, the helmet earns 4 stars for comfort. This brings the X3000 to a total of 3.5 stars at 17 euros per star, another strong result. 
For the sport touring category, we now come to the AGV K6, a relatively new entry for this list. With a recommended retail price of about 460 euros or 500 US dollars, the K6 is an all-rounder that's gonna let you have it all. The helmet shell is composed of carbon aramid fiber and is even produced in four outer shell sizes for a better fit. It also weighs about 1,330 grams, 2 pounds 14 ounces, in a size M. For ventilation, you have the usual three brow vents and a chin vent, combined with an extractor in the rear. The visor of this helmet has a very wide field of view and it is pinlock prepared with the insert in the box. The liner is moisture wicking, removable, washable, prepared for a calm system and eyeglasses as well, not to mention it also comes with emergency release cheek pads. When we tested the K6 out, the day's airspeed was around 115 to 120 km per hour and it was sunny and warm. The exterior temperature during the test was around 22 degrees Celsius or 71 Fahrenheit while the helmet itself was 23 degrees Celsius or 73 Fahrenheit, so all those vents did a good job of bringing the helmet to a 1 degree difference to the outside. For noise, we measured about 101 decibels, which is also great for a full face helmet. Since the K6 is made of lightweight and strong carbon aramid fiber, it earns 5 stars for both the material and weight categories, and the excellent visor earns it 4 stars. Unfortunately, the helmet did dip down to only 3 stars for ventilation and noise, but it did manage to come back a little bit by earning 3.5 stars for comfort. Overall, this brings the AGV K6 to a total of 4 stars at 18 euros per star, which is a strong result for a helmet that's meant to work on any bike. Next up, we have an interesting entry from AGV, the Sport Modular, which is their first carbon fiber modular helmet. With the Sport Modular, AGV are giving you as much luxury as possible with a full carbon fiber construction, three outer shell sizes, and a weight of 1300 grams. The ventilation on this helmet includes a chin and a brow vent with the exhaust in the rear under an adjustable spoiler. The visor is pinlock prepared with the insert in the box and it has been designed to give an extra wide field of view. The liner is removable, washable, ready for a comp system, fits glasses, and is even reversible depending on the outside temperature. When we tested the Sport Modular, it was a beautiful day and the airspeed was about 125 km per hour. During the test, the exterior temperature was about 31 degrees Celsius or 87 Fahrenheit, while the helmet's interior was a much appreciated 30 degrees Celsius or 86 Fahrenheit, so a difference of 1 degree cooler. As far as noise goes, the Sport Modular also did surprisingly well with only 100 decibels in the helmet. Due to its solid performance, the Sport Modular also ranks very well. For material and weight, the Sport Modular earns 5 stars for each, and for the visor and noise isolation, the Sport Modular also earns 4 stars. And for ventilation, the Sport Modular earned 5 stars. Lastly, for comfort, the Sport Modular earns 3.5 stars, so overall the Sport Modular earns 4 stars, with each star costing 26 euros. Last but not least, we have the AGV Pista GPRR, one of the best motorcycle helmets currently available. It's fully made of carbon fiber, comes in four shell sizes, and only weighs about 1,500 grams. However, the best helmet does come at a price, since with a recommended retail price of about 1,250 euros, or 1,340 US dollars, this helmet is expensive. There are three stoppered vents in the brow, two in the chin, with outlets at the back above the spoiler. The visor is pinlock prepared with the insert lens in the box, as well as an additional tear-off kit. The liner is adjustable, removable, washable, and moisture wicking. When we tested out the GPRR, it was another sunny day with the average airspeed at about 115 to 120 km per hour. The outside temperature for the day was 20 degrees Celsius or 68 Fahrenheit, while the helmet's interior was 21 degrees Celsius or 69 Fahrenheit. So you can expect this result to be better on the track in a tucked position. For noise, the Pista GPRR measured about 107 decibels, Though this is common with race helmets since they're designed with the assumption that you'll be wearing earplugs, which, as a nice side note, also come with the helmet in the box. Unsurprisingly, the GPRR is one of the best ranking helmets out there. For material, the Pista earns 5 stars, while for weight it earns another 4.5. The visor and aerodynamics of the helmet are top notch, earning it another 5 stars. Though it does dip to 4 stars for ventilation, you can still expect it to be even better. And finally, for comfort, the Pista earned 4.5 stars, which brings the helmet's overall score to 5 stars at 45 euros per star. 
So you can see there are some trends that AGV do tend to follow. A lot of their designs are actually based on the piece to GPRR, which makes sense since it's their absolute best helmet. And that's where you get the sporty design from. Another nice thing that AGV have been able to cater to is the variety of markets and different prices that they seem to have produced their helmets in, which makes AGV accessible to so many. If you'd like to purchase any of these AGV helmets, then don't forget to head to championhelmets.com where we have a lowest price guarantee and plenty of bundle deals, including free visors or discounted comm systems. Though there are still more AGV helmets available in their 2020 lineup, these helmets are bringing a mix of the best performance for the best value for money. But if you'd still like to know more, then make sure to check out these helmets' individual reviews, and if you liked the video, to please subscribe. I'm Sebastian from Champion Helmets, and thanks for watching.